okay, something seemed okay for some reason. I was set on mute there. I guess I must have accidentally hit the uh, BRB button or something that no, then the BRB overlay should have been on. Okay, something went wrong there. <laughs> Anyways then, hello any- oh, I should have the game selected so we can actually get the audio from that as well. <laughs> hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to- uh, Actually should I just- should I just drop the Helion Hub name because we haven't used it in a while and it- I'm not sure if it fits too well. Have you, have you been saying that every stream? Yeah, not every, but yeah. Let, let's just keep it with now. If we get uh, something better, we'll just uh, <laughs> we'll just swap to that. So yeah, welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, Hillian, along with... The fearsome Drakir and sandwiches. <laughs> and welcome back uh, once again to Dark Souls Genesis for the fourth time, I believe now. Because I did remember to change the number this time. <laughs> well, it would, fourth would make sense considering the hour mark on that uh, save. Yeah, <laughs> it's always nice when a game keeps track of how long you've been on something. Um, what was a bit less nice is that the game guided us into here, but it's a bit of a dead end. Yeah, before I forget, we did not grind anything because of, we realized if we were to grind, we would need to do this level from the beginning. Yeah, so... Oh. Maybe we'll, maybe we might stop a bit earlier you know, today if we get, you know, if we have like uh, 15 minutes you know, extra, or, or we, if we have only like say 15, no, oh, what the, the heck happened there? If we have like 15 minutes to go and we finished up a level, so we're back at the hub. Uh, yeah, then we can at least talk with the NBCs. Then save the error. Okay, there's a ledge hidden there. Well, yeah. At the very least, it doesn't look like we'll have to hard grind for now. But we'll have to. It, it'll. We'll do some of it. Uh, <clears throat> or to make things a bit easier. Uh, so we, so we certainly won't have to grind later on. For now, though. We have to keep going through Belial's domain and see where the hell he is hiding. Okay. No. We are here-ish, and what is that there? There's also something hidden over there, but is that on a different... No, that's not on a different level. That's just behind a wall or something, maybe? Um... We have this here, but hmm. yeah, there's definitely some way to get behind that wall. I'm guessing. Yeah, actually, I think I see how, or somewhat, because there is one of the portals over, or, well, one of the portal points over there. Can we reach that far? Well. Uh, let's see... Nope, we cannot. Okay, so we'll just have to find another way there. But for now, we continue on yet again. Okay, uh, one thing I, sh I should probably say before I completely forget is... It's not that I'm really disliked... Oh, hello, we completely missed this. This is probably what we needed for that platform. Uh... I just have less of an affinity with isometric games like... Wait. Okay, that was... That's what you know, where we got the gauntlet from. This one. Well, why did it reset then? Okay. Oh. Coin. Weird. Right, there's another chest there next to... Oh, there. Oh, right. It, oh, it's already open, ain't it? Yeah, it yep. is, it's open. Okay, why the hell did that reset? It even reset on the map here. Just odd. That was a glitch. Uh, maybe we've already seen that this game hasn't had the best of polish. And wait, 
don't tell me that this thing means that it's a one-way door. Uh, okay. So there is something we need to figure out in this area. Oh, and we can even use it as an attack, apparently. Uh, wait, oh, yeah, we can use this now. Oh, wait, you should keep your yeah, we were just coming back from here, and now these have respawned. Hmm. We know war, we know. Don't need, <laughs> you don't need to call us out on it like that. Yeah, we know the Red Bull was a mistake for Hillian. <laughs> Still begs the question of what we need to do with that. Oop with that red button then, because it's not one of the switches for the punch. And that was a fail. <laughs> Another fail. Okay. Um, yeah. The way we solved this was to pull this and then quickly rush over. Hmm. Okay, we'll give it another look. Maybe something... That we didn't try with it. Yeah, yeah but if we get stuck in it for another five minutes, I'm just going to look up what the hell is up with the red buttons. Yeah, I would have suggested that for... The, the lost possibly stock on... Well, it would make sense that uh, you overlook the actual code. How about this one? Yeah, this one I am absolutely stumped on. For I have not noticed anything on with it yeah it's the first time that we've run into a button like that and we haven't been given a tool to interact with it or as much as we can tell at least so yeah what is with this thing you you'd, you'd think that it be because we got the gun that we need to use it here or actually wait really it can charge That's what it was doing. This place is a maze. You're not the fun kind. Actually, there is no fun kind. <laughs> Good point. Okay, but okay. why why was it differently colored then? I think it's it due to to tell you charge the punch. One down. Uh, no, it, the... I don't think it makes sense on uh, just a game design way, but it, most of the time in games when a certain tool is needed, there is a certain yeah design uh, overall design that stays across the such points. Like uh, yeah, grapple points are I, always going to look somewhat similar or at least grappleable. Yeah, so I mean, it like looks so should... different. Uh, yeah. yep. uh, well, yeah. I say, if I don't look the, look like uh, the regular ones, but red. Yeah. That would be more tell sign, uh, a better tell sign of uh, you need to charge up your punch. Yeah, that's what I mean. It, it looks like something completely different is needed for that. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that, that was... That's a... I, I, I'm just gonna be... By pure chance again. By pure yep. chance, figured out. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hopefully this game or this game shouldn't last too long. Uh, certainly not compared to the others, I uh, presume. And Six after this one, later. okay. Oh, the shifting color means that it's just going to be a bunch of everything. And after this, I have a, a have a. Uh, I know what games to stream after this. I'm just not sure yet on which order. But I do know of something else we'll start streaming at least part way through that. <laughs> can we keep it a bit of a secret or shall we make mention of that already then? Sure, we can We can mention it. You I will say it's not written in stone. True. Uh, we'll be streaming some games that uh, I grew up on, and at, towards the end of that, we're mixing in the Rayman games as the not not Rayman One, but Rayman Two, Three, and then Origins and Legends. 
the reason I'm like mixing those in at the end is because yeah, I, I've I was already planning on streaming those games anyways. Uh, but Origins and Legends were more recent, so they weren't games that I grew up with. So well, it it would feel a bit odd to mix those in with games that I not well, grew up with. Yeah. What the. Uh, so yeah, the other games that we'll be doing between uh, between now and the Rayman series is still going to be a surprise because I still yeah. haven't decided in which order to go. I almost was. I had a, a confession about Rayman. Hmm? Yeah. I played it, the first one. Okay. Me and my mother and my twin and my uh, one of my younger brothers have pl <laughs> played it, and we did not finish it, finish it. Yeah, from all I've heard and known, I, I have like seen like five videos of that one completely covering it or uh, doing a review of it, and yeah, all of them had a hard as hell uh, time to get to the end of it, and even to the true end of it, because for that you need to get 100% of all the electunes. It had a true ending. What the heck? Uh, a, a true ending, or actually, actually, no. I think you needed all the electunes to get to the final boss. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm. If anyone, if anyone managed to beat that game in that <laughs> in that age. Without uh, cheats, uh, they'll certainly have my respect. Okay. Tomb of the Regent. Okay, I did not expect such a hard landing, or at least for enemy. Why would you want our blood? You don't even have a stroke to drink it through. For the paint? Okay. We really need some new material. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and they are just going to be big, stupid skeletons. All right. But this is kind of true. Or rather, life and death is everything. Yeah. Eventually, every th all things that live will eventually die. But before. You know, before then, they typically well spread more life, and from deaths, life can come, like with composting and such. And the death of your prey. Yeah. Okay, just whack this jackass around. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, <laughs> I was going after the smaller fries there. Okay. That sped things up quite a bit. Actually, I just realized that one of the cores is probably going to be these jackasses. Nice try. Oop, and there we go. Oh, that, that's what he did. <laughs> Be more his flavor. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! What, what did he do? He he stole the spear of the you know, the of the Dreadwalker or Deadwalker, whatever it was, and then just threw the motherfucker onto the staff onto the handle of it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he forced him to do an Ajax only on the blunt end. <laughs> Ouch! And I think I missed the. Um... Someone's you there. What did did uh, yeah, something about Belial eating their meat or something? And then Is strife, about, then being well strife. Yeah, something about wars flavor. Yeah, it was more. <clears throat> it was more. Oh, oh, come on. He said more. He said more that uh, he himself, uh, Strife, is uh, too lean. Has his his meat is too lean, but uh, <laughs> he might find more to chew on on war. 
And I'm surprised that War didn't punch him for that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, as much as I'm not partial to this type of gameplay, I have to say I really enjoy just Strife being Strife. And hello. Death Touch. Find all five... Oh, find all five of... Okay, so there's five enhancements total for war. Likely the same for Strife then. Let's see. Well, why to do a double strike that will mark enemies with Death Touch, causing them to explode on death, dealing damage and spreading Death Touch to other uh, to nearby enemies. Okay. As a chance on any Chaos Eater attack to deal damage and apply Death Touch. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's actually read this through completely now instead of just glancing over. <laughs> Let's see, uh, select it, double strike, and yeah, to deal damage and apply it. Okay, it, it, I do find it a bit annoying that they, it basically tells you the same thing twice. Yeah, no, sometimes the games do that in a good way. I mean, they give you a short explanation, then they give you a proper longer explanation. Let's give it a shot. There's some skeletons here that were some ghouls here that could use some extra dying. Okay, yeah, that could spread fast. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we really needed this one on some uh, levels. But these were just trash mobs, so we'll see how well that does against something bigger. Yeah, even trash mobs can be dangerous when there's enough of them. True. Especially yeah. if they have a help. No, this is going to open up that one. Okay. Huh? I'm not hearing anything. Someone ticking. open the door. <laughs> and then this... Oh. Did it, did it close behind us or did it? was it on a timer after all? It doesn't I matter now. Timer. Yeah, typically when the, there's a timer, you'll hear ticking. I hear or... ticking. I heard it tick. It did that. that... Hmm. I'm not hearing any ticking over the music, and I think we already turned that down somewhat. I did... Okay. <laughs> War got stuck on something. Okay, this death touch is going to make the executions even more explosive. <laughs> uh, Just the way he likes it. And I think we sort of glitched the game there for a second because War was trying to grab onto it from the sides. Like that. Okay. I'm, I'm not hearing any actual ticking. I, I, I can, I could hear it there because it actually that was the sound of it coming loose, not of it ticking. So, and it is like ticking just before it closed, like it was a little bit of warning and it has about to close. All right. Actually, no. Okay, we're going to need to use this portal and that bomb at some point. But it doesn't look like it'll be here. Actually. Let's grab that. And... Yep. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> if we if we chuck the bomb on it and it'll, it'll actually stick, it'll set... Well, it'll get set off and we won't have to go over there. We'll have a lot more time to get through. Okay. That should. Yep, that did it. It's I think, and we got stuck on this corner there again for a moment. Hmm. Either way, uh, progress. Now then, and you open up that. Okay. Okay. 
So what we can do is you use this one, then throw a bomb through the portal, which should set off that one, and then we have a clear pass. Okay. Yep, I heard it open. And there we go. Okay, that was a that was more interesting than some of the puzzles we have seen. Yeah. And that one down. There we go. <laughs> no. Then we move back to War's favorite Frisbee. Okay, okay I aimed it at the other one. <laughs> if it works, it works. And this should be the last one of these Dread Lords or Dread Walkers. I guess it shows you how much, you know, how little I care about these guys that I can't remember their correct name. Dread Walkers is correct. Did the voice actor just change, or was that? Yeah, that was. The... Yeah, that was a completely different voice for the char same character. Hmm. See, might be a, a, a shout from one of the archers. Mm, I think the i, I think the icon looked the same. Uh, well, both are skeletons, so. True. Ow. Okay, proc that. And, oh, get slain. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was quite literally a blast. And skeletal soldier. And ow. Give me... Uh, let's not die now. Okay. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly poke! Sorry. Friendly stab. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if that counts as a stab or thrust when it comes to spears. Either way, he took care of a problem for us. Oh, the heck was that? Uh, that was a waste. Ow, and <laughs> immediately back down. Back into uh, <laughs> if I don't even know what. Yeah, oh, 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 come on, come on, keep moving, get the health. <laughs> Again, yep. Ah, uh, just okay. Why is this one specifically so much deadlier then? Hmm. Uh, because the, uh, we... I think the, 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 that's why it's the strongest of the three. Yeah, that, and we're not using chaos form. But uh, yeah, I was over. I was going to ask, uh, how are these things so lethal if we're kicking their ass reasonably easy? But then again, we are playing as the horsemen. Yeah, and we're taking them out one by one. Even alone, I cannot be stopped. I will fade in your blood. And yeah, that's the same icon, but the wrong voice. You smell like shit. Uh, uh, ow. Oh, come on, those are supposed to be distractions. Uh, okay, that was him doing that. I kind of missed it. I thought it was something else setting that off or something. Uh, ow. Uh, did we at least keep the orb or the core? Yes, we did. Okay, that is nice. That's... What if they can become a accidental grind? True. Or... Would that count as an accidental grind? Um... As long as we're not doing it intentionally, at least. Yeah, dude. Now the question is... Is there such a thing as an accidental grind? 
Yeah, I'm not even sure now. Uh, what I am sure of is that I should focus on this guy because he can just take off half our health. Yep. Case in point. Actually, there was three quarters, like. Okay. Yeah, he is not to be... He's no, he's no joke. And, and even yeah, if his I voice sounds like a joke. Yeah, I can see. I can see why they are dangerous. Like, if, imagine. Yeah, if uh, we if we were facing these three together. Yeah. That'd be a very different story. Yeah. And I think I just realized, an accidental grind is more like, if you grind for something, you only realize you didn't need to grind for it at all. Yeah. Okay. I definitely need to keep a good eye on this guy. Nope. Okay, I'm not sure if I dodged there or if I forget hit by something that got thrown into the corner. Okay. Yeah, he definitely has some reach with that spear of his. Well, it is a spear. Or... Ooh, it uh, looks more like a sword staff. It is a thing. Or possibly a thing. It's a weapon we found in room, written in rooms about. Just here's the thing: wood decomposed. So you, if you find a sword blade, it's hard to know if it's just a sword or a sword uh, b uh, staff. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay. Put down the decoy and heal up a bit. Oh. Oh, hello, we we can execute him now. So now we can see... Uh, or we, we're going to see what strife would do to these guys, but I don't trust myself enough to not kill this one. And uh, yeah, that was a, a partially obscured, but still visible version of it. Yeah, yeah, his super weapon. I still find it odd that Lucifer would choose such a gluttonous fool to aid him. He's always playing a shadow game. I'm sure we'll find out why Belial's important. Probably when it's too late. And, then, and they are... No, a gluttonous fool would be easy to manipulate. Same as a greedy fool with Maman. Yeah, though, he, he may be a monster of hell, but he seemed to... If you, it's always called a master of hell, you expect them to have a domain, but Lucifer gave him one. Let's see. The horsemen have defeated the Dreadwalkers and returned to the void <clears throat> to find the path to the Belial's realm. Alright. And that core was actually pretty good. 25% more block. Uh, uh, well, war can block 25% more damage, not that we've been using block much. And, yeah, <clears throat> Strife just outright got more power. Yeah, let's actually try if we can put it in somewhere. Uh, if, we, if we... Let's see. Core disabled, yeah. Uh, that's a health one. Uh, I, hold on. This one it doesn't match. Okay. 3% uh, extra attack power. Or just... That's... Yeah, 25% more block that Can block 25% more damage. Increase attack, Strife's attack and Wrath power by 2.5. Okay. We weren't getting the upgrade of that anyways, I believe. Because it didn't match up. Speaking of, this one doesn't match up. But we don't have anything that can actually fit in there. We do... Oh, yeah, he still gives some power, just not enough. Let's see. Let's remove that for a second. 
we can put in one of these here. And, oh, and this one's actually upgraded. A shadow Ooh. clone clones will taunt enemies and last 15% longer. Oh, okay, these are upgrades for their for their. Oh, why is this one not active? Oh, okay. This one will actually enhance uh, the wrath powers a bit. Um, we can put the husk here. This is a bit of a double eight, and then we can fit that one in there, and then we also have this one available to us. And yeah, that's nice. the one with the lava trail. Okay. There's, there's a bit more depth to this than I originally thought about. Yeah, again, they should have notified. <laughs> they should have put up a better notification to tell us of this. Yeah, though I would not be surprised if we accidentally skipped it or something. Yeah. Um, let's see, that one is. Okay, we have a sword one. Let's just slip that into there. It'll take a long time to get there anyways, and we have a completed the quest. Okay, 50 boat coin. And... Okay. Borrow souls from each of the soul caches? What's that supposed borrow. to mean? Borrow. I love how they wrote borrow. Yeah, in quotations. <laughs> And I just did the quotation gesture with my fingers and said that, and I did it again. Okay. Ah, you return. I think I found my least favorite part of hell. So, the weapon Bilal's making. What did you learn? Lucifer managed to create a portal to Eden. The waters there now flow into a great lake in hell, where Belial is corrupting them forming vast rivers of burning poison. Okay, that's both impressive and very, very bad. Oh. This is unforgivable. Really, I thought every time these last three streams or so, the, my phone has been going off with pings, even though I thought I muted it. Okay, now it is muted. Anyways. Unfortunately, the portal itself cannot be closed. However, you could destroy the mechanism that creates the poison. We must go there, now. Eden has suffered enough injustice. Wait, doesn't this... Doesn't this create a bit of a... Uh, yeah, I think this creates a bit of a... Conflict with something we learned in Dark Souls 1, because there... Uh, Eden was sealed off as well, and yeah, we managed, we got in, but not through a portal like this. And yeah, since this takes place at the fur at the frontmost of the series, that would mean that well, either that portal has been closed somehow, or was it Eden? I think Can it was. I warn you that the area is now. Uh, as you wish. Hmm. I think you're right. At least the garden. Yeah. So. Well, maybe they, they mean a different the thing. Like that they separate that they that's uh, Eden and the Garden of Eden, or the Garden are separate from each other, or something. Maybe. Mm, that's bit... Hopefully, we get to know more. But if they done something that should not make sense for... Hmm. Yeah, that this sounds a bit like a lore mistake, or that, that it contradicts... That it causes a contradiction. Yeah, though we might be jumping the gun. True. As well, so... We have to I wait see. and see if they had done mistake or not. But there's still plenty of room to explain it away. You want it? I've got it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we have 15,000 souls now. That is quite a boost from last time. Oh. It yes. means we're gonna have a lot of upgrades then. Everything's got a price. Let's see. Lipsaw. Every, 
Does that even mean a hug we cost? <laughs> and as I said, that she winks. I sure was poor time to ask that uh, joke. Yep. No, I blame Helium. Um. Oh. oh is this it? I think this is going to be. Yeah, this is likely one of his wrath powers. So, let's get out oh, that. Altman's coins are pretty rare. Where'd you find them? They're all over the place, actually. Okay, that's that is a, quite a big area. If the... <laughs> Oh, synergy meter. The synergy meter will fill up during combat. When the meter is full, you can perform a synergy ability by holding A. And in single player mode, you will switch characters performing the synergy ability of the incoming character. Uh, in co op mode, you will not switch character when performing a synergy ability. Okay. So basically, a more violent tag in. It's still useful. Yeah. Um, I should probably try blocking more. So let's Maybe get I that. Get souls, I can buy my freedom back. A girl can dream. Wait. Down to deal. Yeah, she is bound Enough. to Volgrim. Oh. Yeah. Volgrim, you. Come, come. See what I've got to offer. Okay, Ross. Actually, no, we have a health stone here as well. Um, it's only money. There we go. More health for war. And we have in, we have plenty of boat coins still, but not much in souls. Kill plenty. We both profit. It's just a. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. The hold back. With rumors of Belial stealing holy water from Eden, the horseman launched an, as, uh, an assault on his dam. And, uh, oh, good news. Difficulty casual. Yeah, so that does stay the same. And it looks like we'll be facing plenty of new enemies. And we Ooh. are above the recommendation, uh, recommended power. Hmm. Heavily with war. <laughs> yeah. And when you've been using war a lot. This place reeks of corruption. Yeah, be because I have been, I have been focusing more on him to make, to make it easier. Ah, and here I was thinking you hadn't washed your cloak again. <laughs> Strive. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now, I, I get the feeling I know now why they gave him the name Strife. Because he constantly ke keeps causing strife between him and the others. <laughs> uh. Belial draws power from his corrupt waters. If he has truly added a supply from Eden, it will greatly upset the balance. Let's just stay dry. I don't want this acid ruining my boots. Okay. Hmm. Now I think about it, there, there could be one explanation that uh, doesn't cause a bit of a contradiction, and that would be that the portal can't be traversed by, uh, can't be, well, can't be traversed. Okay, that it, it can only be incoming or something like that. So he had gotten treasures from there as well, the loose of her. Uh, yeah, my mom has some, so that would, yeah, that would, that would enforce the w the explanation that would be a paradox. Hmm. It, it could be a case that we will destroy this portal. The war might have been on where there was another uh, way. Oh. Hmm. In the first game, it was more about. Not just Eden, but a special part of Eden with the Tree of Knowledge. Yep. So hmm. this might be it. Might be a separate gateway then for the other guy. 
It was see protecting the portal uh, the, of to the tree. Yeah. Hmm. yeah we, we'd have to double check with uh, <laughs> with that to be extra certain. But for now, we just need to focus up on well getting through this quite little backwater. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Uh, now a poison version of these little shits. <laughs> yeah, just hunt them as far as you can. And they... And they were just, <laughs> And this one just rolled down the, the bricks here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> Pardon? Forgive uh, Ragdolls can be such fun, huh? Yeah, a lot of times... I think there's been times where I've found ragdolling annoying, but usually funny. Yeah, they, it can get a bit uh, immersion-breaking when something just uh, gets stuck in somewhere and just freaks the hell out. Or like in Ork. Like, something kills a mammoth and suddenly it flies uh, 100 meters into the air. And yeah. get stuck in the air. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely helping deal with trash mobs at the very least, the death touch. I think they, they don't like you calling them trash mobs. Well, they can take that complaint to uh, you know, customer service, which in this place is likely a trash can anyways. Right. I suggest we don't, since they might be, uh... I forgot what tour we were to use, but it... Karen... Yep. I don't do <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good thing War is hard-headed, huh? Yeah, I, I can have surprise War doesn't wear a helmet. Hmm. Yeah, he has armor practically everywhere else. Um, but, yeah, um, let's see, I, I think we'd spoken of this before, but, oh, okay, I just, I saw the line of it just zip across the screen there for a bit, uh, why would we want to do that, though? Hmm. We want, <clears> hmm, <throat> yeah, uh, some people have been uh, taking offense to the term uh, Karen, since, well, there's actual people called Karen as well, of course, and, well, they don't like yeah. being associated with such people, but... I forgot what word we got on to, uh, use instead, like, just plain brats? A uh, spoiled brat? Yeah. Well, I don't think uh, brat is... But brat usually used for younger people, especially very young ones, but I'm not sure brat is... Age restricted or not? It, I wouldn't say it is. Okay, and there we go. Nope, a charged one. And but yeah, I, I, I as well don't like it when you use a uh, person's name as a uh, insult uh, term. Yeah. And I should know, for some old Viking names that are quite good in translation have actually be uh, over the years been used as uh, <clears throat> slang for male genitalia. <laughs> okay. Like Snorri. I did not know it was a actual Viking name until later when I got a, na a name list. I okay. realized, oh, a, it was a name before name for a penis. And if I remember okay. right, Snorri means attack. Uh, the easy joke makes... would be to say that the other Vikings must have thought him uh, he was a real dick. 
That's a lot of <laughs> Strife. You joke as we stand before such utter sacrilege. Look, I know this is bad and all, but keep your head straight. We need you just shy of raging uncontrollable chaos, or you might lose another arm. It took all three of you to restrain me last time. Want to try it alone? Hell no, I don't. Let's save it all for Belial. Hey, yep. Oh, this one goes off automatically. But uh, yeah, <laughs> the other horsemen are kind of why uh, War is missing one arm, or one of his arms is prosthetic. Uh, the short version of it, I th think I might have talked about this during Dark Souls 2 as well. Is an impressive hmm? sight, and a bit disgusting. The lords of hell have stooped to a new low, and that's why it even pisses me off. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, I think we, I might have mentioned this during Dark Souls 2, but uh, yeah, the reason he has oh, a prosthetic arm is because war basically went on a rampage at some point. I think the 1700s or something. And Whoa. yeah, the the other horseman had to step in and uh, death cut off one, cut off his arm. Yeah, his, his arm, his arm. He did harm to his arm. Uh, give me a bit of a moment here. Something that's annoying me a bit. Uh, reset position there because to me it was looking like I when I was looking at the game it looks it would look like I was looking to the right off screen or something. Oh dear. Okay. But yeah, that should say a thing or two about how freaking strong war is, or how strong he can be. Uh, what the? Uh, hmm? Oh, was that? Yeah. Summoning stone. Wait, we can actually access those shops through this. Oh. Okay. That will make things easier. Well, it's somewhat easier. Yeah, we don't really have too much uh, need for those shops most of the time, but it does give us a, something to spend those souls on whilst we're in a mission. So, generally, we're back quick enough to not really need it, but still nice. Ow. Oh, the music. It is good music, I, I will say that. And it, it is also a lot more noticeable than in the, in the other ones, where it was uh, either more drowned out or more subdued. I, I, I mean... I keep forgetting to listen to it when I play other games. For it's so fitting. Yeah. I, I, I guess it is. I could probably draw while listening to this. And yes, I... When I used to draw, I used to like to listen to music. This is kind of how I found out the uh, Dutch uh, folk mu uh, metal. Okay. Uh, basically, I was, I was practicing drawing mammoths. And I was trying to thought, oh, wonder if there's any songs about mammoths. And lo and behold, I found Hadevolk. Can't say I've heard of them. I told you about them many times over the years. Even okay. linked you them several times. I'll just it's have to double check that. Oh, there's the portal. Okay, now you, you can definitely guess through that. Uh, <laughs> I, I should link. I should uh, link you some uh, <laughs> some uh, Haber music, which is a uh, sort of hardcore version, party music. <laughs> oh, not party music. No, no, no. When we find him, I will drive my sword through his skull. I suppose we better get used to these reminders of Eden. We did what was necessary. I wish you sounded more convinced. The Nephilim are wrong, attacking Eden. I get it. But Annihilation? 
Come on. The council messed up. But they had other reasons to see us wiped out. Careful speaking such things aloud. The council has eyes and ears everywhere. Is that actual worry this time, war? war? Doesn't sound like you disagree. We can discuss this further after we've brought down the Lyle. Yeah, back on point. For the balance, right? Hmm. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Silence was death. <laughs> Silence is best cured by the ring of steel. <laughs> okay, enough in <laughs> enough introspection. Back to the murder, huh? You made a mistake. Oh, okay. Death touch has a time limit, it seems. Okay. I you realize. All right. Uh, I think you may have heard me say uh, phrases from the song. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the first song of uh, Dutch song I heard was uh, called uh, "Vulgaris Magistralis." Okay. This apparently is Latin that translates to "abnormally normal." <laughs> okay. It, yeah, I was already saying that's definitely not Dutch. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of the song is Dutch. And that's a little part of I've been saying, or tried to say on some streams and as you too many times, we try to practice Dutch. Ik ping vulgaris magistralis. Ik ping rein up the mabut rund. When sondag or on a master don't. I think I thought you butcher it. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, that's stink. That's a big ass stink bug. Uh, I I got some parts of that, but it, yeah, it, of course it sounds a lot different uh, with your accent on top of it, which would make things a bit more difficult. I, As well that I'm, I never really took Dutch lessons to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> hardly anyone ever does. But even you? Mm, yeah, me of course, yeah, but it's not. <laughs> It's not the most widespread <laughs> language across the planet and all that. So, distance, distance. No, it, it could have been, it could have been, but... Fate had other plans. Yeah. Uh, also, how do we activate that synergy ability? It seems that Hold just on. switching around doesn't do it. Wait, I recognize that big one. Yeah, we bought that thing before. From the second game, yeah. I've I got out of the junk. I, I, come on. Hmm. Yeah, how do we activate that? Uh, come on, st stupid sting bug. <laughs> Pardon? Yep, of course, one final stink. <laughs> okay. And then, last idiot. And down. Oh, low. Oh. For a moment I thought something else was spawning in, but no, it's just a chest. Well, it did spawn in. Oh, another wrath ability. Stone skin. Where skin becomes solid stone, greatly reducing damage taken for 10 seconds, cost half a wrath pip. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, Barry Pack is going to go and grab something. Okay. That is the source of the holy water. Now we just need to find the place where it's getting poisoned. Well, at the moment, it's mixing in with the poisoned water. So, yeah, where is that being uh, come? Where is that coming from? 
So if we cut that off, eventually the water should become pure again. I'm guessing that's the logic. That the poison flow will yeah, be outdone by the normal flow. Okay, there's this still. And that's a Bozeman coin I'm seeing. Is this only for the coin? It doesn't matter. We're getting it all the same because it's easy enough to grab. Back. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. And will this be on holy water? Hmm. Would depend on your definition, I'd guess, because it is it is holy water that's been poisoned, and it you could say that that is, would describe poison uh, unholy water. Well, it, it's being po it's being poisoned in hell. Yeah. Okay, a health chest. We have no need for that. Hmm. And boom goes the dynamite, <laughs> and so do the skeletons. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this... It, I'm sticking with this one from here, Art. Uh, oh, did... Okay, that pass is blocked by poisoned water. Hmm. Okay, not going that way. But as you have something that goes boom. And we need that there as well. I think I saw something down there. Yeah. Oh, come on. Another stink bug. Okay. Just swapping to strive for this. Because he'll be actually be able to keep doing damage even when it's farting around like that. Yeah, I, I thought the taunting, the the taunting effect of those shadow clones, was innate, uh, not from. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was quite the finisher. No, then. Okay. And that's one way to get around it. So I'm not entirely sure if that's how we're supposed to get around it. Hmm. Wait, I think you can grab it from there. Yeah. And it's just timed, so... Yeah, <laughs> we just got around it a bit early. We can bring this up. And destroy this. All right, we need to set it off because these are innate, you know, inert. Uh, this one. Good. Great one. The braces are also innate. It look. Okay, it looks like oh, it's just smoldering, not actually on fire. Yeah, okay. Got there there. Is the fire. And I can't lock it onto the other ones. Oh well. Just a bit of an extra step. Okay, that thing just locks off on its own. <laughs> Yeah, I really hope that there is some explanation about this portal into Eden. Okay. Actually, I can just send it straight there. There we go. 
because it w it would cause a bit of a yeah oh, hello um I'm forgetting yeah a contradiction it would be or turn all the valves to drain the okay didn't we see a few valves of that earlier I'm guessing they, they haven't had big uh, lore issues with this series before, so I'm guessing there is going to be an explanation about how that portal is going to get shut, even if they did say that it cannot be shut anymore. Oh. And hello there in the chat, uh, little cat beans. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a horrible a, name. <laughs> yeah, adorable name. Oh, and it shows that my chat box is a bit messed up. Uh, give me a bit to try and fix that. Uh, going to put this in a preview for it so I can take a better look. Uh, yeah, part of it is off screen. So sorry about that. I'm going to try and fix that right now. And a transform. Uh, crop, that should be lower then. Uh, okay, that needs to be still a good amount. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, I hope we'll prove entertaining enough. And I definitely should have used a, a more high resolution version of that GIF. <laughs> uh, give me a second. <laughs> um, nope, that, that's definitely way too much. Okay. Wait. There, that should about do. Um, that might push some some of yeah some text that is too long off screen, but I'll f I'll fix that after stream. Uh, for now, uh, yeah. Thanks again for the follow. Uh, I hope you'll prove entertaining enough. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. How's things with you? Doing well today? And yeah, hello as well. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're playing, in case you're curious, this is Dark Souls Genesis, the fourth and at the moment last of the Dark Souls games. And my co-commentator across from me here is Drakir. And, I, Hello. Yeah, we're, and, yeah, we're basically playing as two of the horsemen of the apocalypse going after Lucifer because he's up to shit. There and there. What is that going to reveal? Oh, okay, a punch pad. Ooh. Nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. I was gonna go to work today, but I got sick, so I can't. I also, I love this game. Oh, okay, that's you know, uh, sad to hear that uh, you're sick, but nice to hear that uh, you like this game. Uh, I, I haven't been I haven't been liking it as much as the previous ones, and it definitely looks like text got off screen there. Uh, but yeah, it, it's that's not to say uh, that's not to say that I'm thinking this is a bad game. It's just uh, yeah, just such a big departure from the other games that uh, I find it a bit harder to get into. And and it has it's a bit of a diamond in the rough since they. Very all on seem to forgot and tell us about the, what the cores are used for. Yeah, we we might have overlooked that. <laughs> uh, if it was said told at least. Okay. Come on. Deal with one of them. Oh, actually, they're both low health. Uh, but yeah, we we but we definitely, at the very least, we just absolutely love Strife being just a freaking jackass all of the time. <laughs> like there. Wait, what are you saying? Uh, he was saying how all of the gun how all of the gunk was all over his boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe really we should have like been more. Yeah. 
Maybe you should have been more of the horseman of vanity. <laughs> okay, I, for a second I thought we turned that one off as well. But what have we accomplished now that this is also turned off? Uh, oh, we can bring the bombs here safely to <laughs> deal with the big ass wall. There we go. And, and then we switch back to war. And A and B make C. But, yeah, we, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah horsemen. <laughs> Let's uh, try with my uh, favorite horseman because of the fact that he's a jackass all of the time. Makes me giggle, yeah. <laughs> it's That's an easy <laughs> way to get most people to like your character. Oh, hello, someone else. Uh, oh, uh, Cookie Ola, Cookie, Cookie Clade, 21. Thank you for following. Uh, hi as well. Uh, yeah, I hope, hope you'll find uh, the stream enjoyable. Uh, in case you don't know, this is Darksiders Genesis that we're playing. The fourth and so far final of the Darksiders. Let's see. I got oh. this game. Do you recommend playing it? Um, I definitely... I would... Go on. Oh. Yeah, you go on first, then. I, I interrupt you often enough. Uh, I would say... I would say yes. If you like those side of game and the it mix in, in the way like here as asymmetric, I would think there's plenty of uh, good story here so far. So I see no uh, reason to not uh, recommend. Though I can't, uh, me and here like both can say that something that all dark side of games I would comment they are. Sometimes a bit rough uh, and can be sometimes a little bit buggy. Yeah, and it's a tad tough. We, it, we could have missed it, but there is an upgrading system here with these creature cores. Uh, I, we could have completely overlooked it, but uh, as far as we you know, noticed, we weren't actually told about this until we accidentally took a look <laughs> out of curiosity here. So yeah, it is definitely worth a shot, especially if you already have it anyways. Uh, let's see. Toxic crab on death explodes into acid, <laughs> damaging <laughs> the creatures. Okay. Ilya, no! Mm, toxic scarab, not toxic crab. <laughs> uh, me and my brain that goes faster than my mouth. Uh. Welcome to the hub, people. Now you see what I have to do da with daily. Yeah, this is. That's not accidentally <laughs> dash into there. Uh, but yeah, like. Like Drakir said, uh, this is a. This is a good game so far, but it does have its rough edges. We've noticed a few spelling errors here and there. That, oh, yeah, ow. And yeah, again, we it could have just been us being idiots that we didn't notice. The, uh, where it's set to use the upgrade system. And well, like all the other games, it is, it can get well, at the start, at least, it can be pretty tough. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. I used to play Dark Souls and its sequels. Okay. Uh, we've, al we've already streamed the other games as well before this. Um, some, most of those are not going to be in the VODs anymore, but I, I do upload my VODs to YouTube. Uh, link should be below the stream. Uh, but I must warn that I have been falling behind on that, so I should get to that again. And the heck is with teleport to the holdback? Okay, it's just a shortcut. Oh. And why did you draw your sword, War? Uh, 
Oh, Black Dwight Cannon? Cannon. Yep. Okay. The things at the top show which of the ones are going to shoot. Ow. Okay, maybe best if we swap over for a second. Uh, and up. A little. Get out. Okay, he's, the little guys are oh, just going to keep spawning and being a, a nuisance. And creating even... Oh, now it's going for three at a time. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, okay, I didn't notice that one going up. Now, that was my bad. Uh, nope. Okay, this, this is more of a boss about... Oh, it's going to split. About environmental <laughs> awareness. And you're trying to not get everything gunked up. The little bastards running around. Oh. Yeah, this time I noticed. This time I noticed. I think you accidentally made it sound like uh, you're talking about um, more than environmental problems there. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is one of the reasons why I'm generally not that good with isometric games like this, is that I I, I, can, I get trouble keeping track of uh, where I am and where uh, yeah, the enemy, where I'm actually shooting at is and such. Or, That's usually uh, not a problem for me, unless I'm uh, playing uh, with several other people. Then it gets confusing. Okay, chaos form, and there we go. <laughs> Uh, is this going to be enough? Uh, it, I don't think it's... No, I don't think it is going to be, but it is going to put it very close. Or closer, at the very least. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if there's one thing we definitely we praise this for, beside Stry's basically being stall for God of Galaxy, <laughs> But the heck, even the intro uh, uh, gave uh, uh, so uh, uh, much uh, audio galaxy vibes. Is the damn music? It's also damn good. Yeah. yeah uh, little, these little pestering fleas. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm almost downed again. Let's just put that in and swap. Even though we're both, you know, they're both rather wounded. Uh, ow! That was a mistake. <laughs> okay, now you need to be extra careful for at least uh, uh, 10 more seconds. Yeah. Acid flea. Yeah. Uh, actually, potion, potion. Uh, use the freaking. Oh, we're out of charges? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's one of the problems I have with isometric games like this. I. I tend to lose track of whatever, you know, all the things that need keeping track of. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cinematic glitch, there's no flea this time. This is it, the source. Okay, yep. At least the bugs in this game have been rather... Amusing. Mi yeah, amusing, mi rather mild one. They're not... They're not really being game-breaking or uh, lag-inducing. Yeah. This is a plus. Uh, okay, it's already on to I, three. I do feel, think it's weird that <laughs> no, they're not in training to fix it. With a passion, so. Um, we'll have to check on what how, on the status of uh, THQ Nordic, because those were the people who made this, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I've... yeah. For again, I, I know. I think I said it before that I know that apparently you wanna patch something on the on consoles. You may have to pay for it to be allowed for, to do the patching for some reason. Okay. Oh. And this game is almost five years old. This no, no ex. Uh, 2019, I think. So, yeah. three years, uh, not the oldest. Uh, 
Yep, it's going to spin in our direction. Yep. Do. Here's the thing. Here's Nordic. Probably do a lot of games. So they might not be able to have the resources to just go and patch, uh, patch things up unless the, the whatever needs patching is a game breaker. True, and Dark Souls isn't the biggest franchise. So it could just be that uh, their bosses say no. Uh, uh, and war just got melted. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. There we go, some backup. Actually, Tails form uh -huh. <laughs> right as we get spit at. And no, then we can just spit back big, land. Heavy. Definitely have to say that Stripe's Chaos form is the best, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, oh, um, I, I think I like them all. No. Uh, they're, they're all pretty cool. Uh, okay, they're getting a bit much with all of these now. And there we go. Fowls Eden, yes. That he still lives, no. I'm right there with you, buddy. And a new core. Let's see. Increases war's parry window by 0.2 seconds. Killing an enemy will increase Strife's attack power and wrath power by 3% for 6 seconds. Okay. Not bad. We still haven't managed to get a single parry off, but oh well. <laughs> no, yeah, let's get out of here. The horsemen have disrupted Belal's supply of corrupt water and returned to the void. All of those lines are just going to end in and return to the void, aren't they? Let's see. Holocrum has new stuff. Uh, these does not. Okay. Now then. Are you satisfied, horseman? Did you ease your conscience, saving Eden from Belial's work? The former kingdom of man is a wasteland now. Why spare any concern for it? Hey, from the former ruler of Hell's biggest shithole? That's pretty funny. Don't worry about our concerns. Can you give us Belial or not? Yes, of course. The scrying eye. Right. It sees all. We got it. This guy really loves his eyeball thing. <laughs> so impetuous. Do not let overconfidence be your undoing. Belial has been exposed to enough of Eden's power that he won't be easy to kill. Yeah, well, neither are we. All right. Now, what do yes. you have? Still more keys. Uh, Outlaws health stone. Uh, let's just get that for yes. safety's sake. <laughs> I hear uh, be having <laughs> some fun. <clears throat> yeah, exo health is always welcome. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, just have to take a quick drink there. Uh, don't choke. Now then, what is this next mission? Oh, it's another boss fight. All right. Uh, okay, Belial. that's good for. We should be able to finish the, finish the boss fight before the stream ends. Yeah, we have forty minutes still to go. Uh, yeah, uh, this is. That should be perfect, but it means we might actually be able to have a perfect time to actually at some point do some grinding before next stream of this. Yeah, to get some more creature cores, to fill things out more, mostly just to make things easy, because, yeah, as you can see, the strife is falling behind on the power level at the moment. That We have been focusing mostly on war, so that also makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's see. The horsemen have caught off Balao's supply of holy water and seek him out, hoping to uncover more information about Lucifer's scheme. All right. This is Belial's sanctuary. Or his pantry. <laughs> Tread lightly. The corruption has turned the air rancid. If we don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna puke. You might want to take your helmet off first in that case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, which direction? This direction. Uh, hmm. Oh, we can climb these. Okay. <laughs> Don't think we've seen rounded one of those yet. We've only seen them straight, uh, in straight bars so far, I think. And is there uh, something hidden up here? Uh, just health. Wait, do we need it? No, we're full. I, I think we got a full re uh, heal when we reach, uh, or when we start a new level. Okay, so it's going to be a bit more than just fighting him, it seems. Or... No. All right. Okay. I thought green meant that it was only uh, health and stuff. Yeah. Okay, what are we missing? Wait, are we only, do we only need to click it? Nope. I thought we cut off. I thought we cut off the supply of that. So why? Well, we would of course still have a supply in the back, but actually, wait. Just big ass versions of the normal crystals, and oh, there he is. Ooh. Now that's disgusting. Delicious. What's this? More tender morsels wander into my feast. No, you should be fighting it. It's kind of our jobs. Yep. I think we interrupted him earlier. Yeah, we jumped in a bit too early. Oh. Okay, that was pretty cool. He throws his, his spears from a portal and then catches it again. Nope. Uh, I really mean to try them, but yeah, that's probably not the time to argue about what it is. Yeah, <laughs> more time to focus on kicking his ass. Do considering... I, I do think he uses this as a fork. Yeah. But he did. He, he did use as a book, but he had some cool. Oops, it was easy to throw it. Uh, oh. oh, come on. Okay, he's going to try and heal with these, I'm guessing. Okay, we just cut them off and. Well, cut him off from his supply. Okay, there's a challenge to defeat him without deactivating the crystals, whatever they do. Probably enhance him. I hope they wouldn't be healing him, because that would be another pain in the ass. Yeah. 
No, let's not get thrown out of the ring. on the dodge. Okay. okay, so far so good. Keep avoiding what might be his strongest attacks and keep deactivating that thing. Some of them got in. There's a hungry boy. Yeah. And angry. Okay, we did fail another challenge there, but we're playing for story. Nope. Nope. Got, got, got stuck on a ghoul there. Uh, I think it was a dog. Oh dear. Come on, shut that thing off. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, at least the shield gives away where he's teleporting through. Okay, just gotta wait for war to revive because it doesn't seem like Strive's attacks can actually deactivate those things. Okay. Ooh. Oh, come on. Okay, wait for him to revive again and then we're going to use the potions. Those for up. Okay. Oh well, we know his tricks now, at least, or at least most of him. Really? Uh, yep. hmm? Oh come on! Or yep. yep. okay, I I hey, clearly oh. hit the jump button there to go up. There, there, and there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you remember how to open the door? Yes. There we go. Good boy. Take two. Okay, I was parrying his attacks there. It doesn't look like we can do a counter-attack on him. A little fear improves the flavor. No, uh, no not that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure... Many people would say it ruins the flavor. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Okay, he, seem he seems to be hitting a bit hard on... Or maybe I'm just mistaken. Ooh. And uh, with that, people said it, uh, from what I know from my... From people I know that ha do hunting and such, they had said that if you're gonna hunt, do your best to kill the animal with mercifully with one shot. Or it doesn't deserve to suffer as well 
you will be able to taste the fear otherwise in the meat as well. Mm. Okay. Mm. There was some kind of... I forgot what it was that uh, runs into the meat. Some kind of... Not pheromone. I forgot that uh, something that uh, releases uh, into the muscles and blood when you get stressed. Yeah, yeah stress hormone. Yeah, and uh, it apparently ruins the flavor. <laughs> I, I can't make any comments on that, but I'll, so, I'll presume you're uh, correct. I, I I don't know don't know either sense. Yeah, my my dad is a good hunter. So even 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 oh. if that is true or false, I I agree that if a, a good hunter does not make uh, the prey suffer. Okay. okay. Making good progress now. Uh, this again. Uh, ow. Okay, Death Touch works with clearing these out pretty well as well. well. I'll turn that one off because that one's probably out offensive. Ow. <laughs> okay, jumps right into that one. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, that's going to be the area attack. Yep. Ow. Oh. And, okay. I'm just going to need to survive for a bit. And he's... Okay, without war we can't deactivate that. So... Or we seemingly can't deactivate it at least. So that's a nuisance. A few seconds left. Okay. Ocean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be gone with you. Okay, and of course, yep. I thought it missed all of them, but one. Uh, okay. How are... it, it it feels odd that uh, that stripe doesn't have a way to deactivate these things. Kinda yeah. Or if there is, but we yeah yeah. It's going to focus on trying to kill this jackass. Okay. Okay, we're out of potion use. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's what's going on. War is getting poisoned. Okay. Kind of want to be careful. Oh. There. Yeah, at least he's lacking the trash mobs now. Oh, hello, you're bouncing around. Okay, back to this. There we go. Yeah, that cleans them up much easier. Okay, hard landing. Okay. Let's grab as much health as we can find. Yeah, and even on easy, this guy is still a freaking pain in the ass. Holy. 
Here we go out again. A complete miss. Yep. Okay, that seemed to damage us before we out before the animation finished. Oh, you're about oh. to die? Healing? Oh, yeah, dude. Don't have any healing. Okay. We can at least put that down for the taunts. Oh. Okay, switch. That's one as well. And on the attack. Oh, and hello. Okay, finish this. Yes. Nope, wrong. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your last meal. Shall we split open his stomach to reveal its contents? No! I have been bested. I yield. Where is Lucifer? Speak, demon. You better answer quick before you serve your fat ass up some dessert. Wait, <laughs> Lucifer! Granted me this realm, access to Eden's waters, then departed to where I could only guess. Guesses aren't going to save you. Aiden! I, I, I can get you into Eden, but, but perhaps there. How? Lucifer has found a pathway. Eden, look! Yo, come on! That's nasty! <laughs> The stone will help you find it. Take it. Just leave me be. We will spare your pathetic life. Though in time you may wish we hadn't. Why do I have to hold the vomit, Jim? <laughs> Fools. <laughs> Eden will be your doom. <laughs> Belial, you stupid beast. Your incredible failure may yet serve me, but it must be punished all the same. Endlessly. Curse you, deceiver! Yay! I guess that clears up the possible contradiction in that, yeah, you, they can't actually go through it. It is a one way only. Oh, it's actually healed for 2% of damage done. That That is going to be very useful. And I just realized we likely want to form the grind the bosses to upgrade those gems. Perhaps, but it, it'll be easier to do the smaller ones first. So, well, the bosses will be easier to beat and grind them. Yeah, the... The bosses are a challenge here. Yeah. Let's see. Defeat Lyle, we parried one of his attacks. Okay. What more can we fill out here? Can we connect to... Uh, any of these we have we have a magic and a host uh, token with these and this one wa what was it? that's a combat one we don't have that um let's put that one there and hmm. yeah let's just connect it with this one okay now actually, let's see, Blight Cannon, Belial, heal for two damage. But what is the one that we already have equipped here? Okay, grant 2% more health and wrath orbs. Uh, yeah, let's go act actually 2% lifesteal instead, because that sounds a bit weak. Um, magic or health? Magic. Let's see, increase parry window and... Or block and more power. Hmm. 
what is this one? Increase wrath power by 5%. Uh, let's actually swap those around, yeah. And yeah, we're, we're going to end up with more cores than we can actually fill things in. So, yeah. Okay, we still have 20 minutes, but starting on the next one will likely take longer than that. Um, is there any chat to go on? Lucifer's plot yeah. goes beyond simple meddling. We will not stand for the further corruption of Eden. Belial has given us the key. And what has become of that gluttonous meat sack? Who knows? He was breathing when we left him. Actually, it was more like gurgling noise. <laughs> Hmm. Disappointing. I was hoping you'd be more thorough. As for Eden, that can be arranged. Let me guess. You need your back scratched further? You wound me, Strife. You've provided the means. Volgrim will open the way. A simple courtesy among friends. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to give Samael access to Eden. Huh. Right. Belial's crystal. It is a void lock. It clears a path otherwise obscured. Seemingly by Lucifer. Clever, yes. Very clever. You sound excited. And that's creepy. <laughs> to Eden. Okay. Huh? Hmm. If we're catching up on... Hmm. This can't be the last level, can it? Let me do, let me do a quick little look. Uh, let's see. I'd be surprised if we already at the last level. Uh... Nope, there... It looks like there's at least 16 chapters. Okay. Uh, so we are getting closer. Yep. But we are not finishing it today. Hmm. Yeah, we... we, uh, uh, we there's no way in heck we finish <laughs> about, let's see, seven levels in 20 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, okay, yeah, we, we, we should stop here so we can grind out the rest of this to get some more cores, to get Strive more leveled up because he is seriously behind in power because we've been focusing on war and it yeah, has been proving to be a bit of a, <laughs> a, a bit of a bad idea. Yeah, like, war is good in melee. But Strife is good in ranged, and everything we be needed will be more ranged. Yeah, the underleveling of Strife has been a problem. Yeah, and, well, when war is out, we're, as Strife, we are basically really... We basically only can dodge around to, uh, yeah, try not to die. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. oh bloody heck. Look at the recommendation and the levels. Yeah. 260, 284, 387. Definitely a very big gap of it. <laughs> what the heck? The, the gap keeps growing bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah. We'll call it a bit early here. That way we can grind out, you know, we can get our hands on the, other, the remaining creature cores so we can power up more and, uh, yeah, use any extra souls we find to you know, power up strife as well. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, a bit shorter of an to... episode. Yeah. And yeah, the grand is to make things smoother. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry for calling it early people, but yeah, we <laughs> it's a bit hard to grind from the middle of an episode when we would need to restart. 
Uh, let's see, Michael Jande in chat. Uh, thanks for the stream. Uh, it was fun to be here. Thank you for being around and <laughs> glad you enjoyed it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you as well, Little Cat Beans and Cookie Cookie Oak Plate Twenty One. I have no idea how to say uh, the last half of that. Uh, thank you for being here all and chatting a bit all the same. And uh, let me actually go look for someone to raid because I yeah I keep forgetting about that. Uh, actually, that is not going no that is not going to start a sound or something. Um, let's see, this browser should be shouldn't have anything autoplay. Let's see, any people around online at the moment? Let's see. Oh, hello. That's looks in. Uh, I'm going to look mostly for smaller streamers here, not like people with a thousand or hundred streamers, because, yeah, uh, actually, oh, uh, a semi-bigger one that I've been growing to like recently, and who I'd likely be watching after this anyways. Uh, let me move this to the actual channel so I can jump along with. So, yeah, give me a sec. Uh, chat should show up here. Come on. Come on, yep. All right, slash raid. Come on, slash raid. Viking Blonde. I've, I've been frequenting this guy for uh, for a bit. And uh, yeah, he, he's fun. He's a he's an ex game developer. I'm not sure if he's still ex on that or not. Uh, either way, uh, I find him a fun guy. Actually, no, no, no. I think uh, someone else could better. Uh, someone I've also been watching. Uh, and yes, I have ra I've rated Viking Blonde before. Uh, still, someone I'd recommend. Uh, I'll just link his. Yeah, I'll, I'll just link his channel in the chat for a bit. Uh, and then we'll actually jump over to someone else. So there is Viking Blonde's channel in the chat at the moment. And then we will be raiding Azra Arcane, who is at the moment playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Oh dear. <laughs> Which is the latest of the quote, well, it's not really a. It's set in the Borderlands ish world, but it's not a true Borderlands game, at least. So. It's yeah. a spin off, I think. Yeah. So for anyone who wants to stick around for that, Raid is starting up. So, yeah. Um, I already thank the people. Anyone? Uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, named the people who have been you know, chatting along. And of course, thank you as well, you know, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. And yeah. Saturday will be starting on the fourth Monkey Island game. Uh, hopefully, it will uh, it will fully work. Yeah, it has worked in testing so far, and yeah, we'll con uh, I'll find some time to to uh, yeah. Why am I tripping over my words now? I'll find some time to uh, to grind this game some more, so to make it easier in the later levels, so we don't get stuck. <clears throat> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We'll be streaming this again on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Hey, safe, folks. And watch out for our undead seagulls. <laughs>